What's up, Malaysia? This is Aquafina from Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon, and you're watching Clips on Stage. My whole life, I trained to become a guardian of the Dragon Gem, but this world has changed. And its people are divided. Now, to restore peace, I must find the last dragon. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Gauri. How does it feel being part of the first Disney movie with so much Southeast Asian influence? It feels awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really an honor to be a part of it and to be the one person that has chosen to play this character in this particular movie that it's made at this particular time when I was just in the right place at the right time and all the lines sort of lined up. It's a miracle. When I first heard this movie and what it was about, what the influences were and especially that we would have our first Southeast Asian princess played by Kelly Marie Tran. I thought about like the impact that this this movie will have on on our younger generations and our kids just because of the impact that Disney has. I, I just think it's something really, really special to be a part of a project like this where you get to take pride in your culture, take pride in what you look like and who you are and where you come from. And that's something that's really special and we get to be part of this groundbreaking moment. Yeah, uh, just like Tali said, it's definitely an honor to be able to be a part of this movie with so many Asian actor influencers. And it's amazing that I got to be able to work on such a groundbreaking movie, just like Tali said. Talk us through some of the Southeast Asian influences in the movie and maybe specifically if there's anything from Malaysia. As a Malaysian, I have to tell you, I am so proud of it and all our individual inspirations. Being in the room when we were trying to sort through like thousands of names, you know, the, Raya definitely, of course, you know, popped up to me because we have Hari Raya, you know, it means something big and grand. We have Labu Raya, Pasar Raya. Um, and our head of story, Fon Vera Suntorn, who's from Thailand, said, oh, Raya in Thai means, you know, a, a great and exalted leader. So we knew that that was something special and it's something that we hadn't heard of before. But if you look throughout the movie, it's not just one or two things. Even in uh, Raya's weapon, which is inspired by the Chris, or the introduction, which is done in Wayang Kule, or the Gamelan music, you can just go on and on and on in terms of like, you know, what aspects of um, Malaysian culture and Southeast Asian culture have inspired all the details of Kumandra. And we also had a whole team of consultants, experts, you know, uh, archaeologists, anthropologists, architects, Gamelan master from the region um, who helped throughout the making of the film make sure that we were grounded in the inspiration behind what is essentially a fantasy story. One of the things that people love about Disney movies is there's always like special Easter eggs kind of hidden throughout the movies. Could you guys maybe share if there's anything special that people can look out for? Yeah, there's a little sequence that has back-to-back -back shots with hidden Mickeys. Those shots, there's like five or six that have like tiny, tiny little hidden Mickeys. Yeah, I would uh, encourage people to watch the the Land of Talon very closely. It's based on, you know, it's a floating market city based on a lot of the night markets. And it's just full of stuff and people. And there's so many things happening in the background. If you look close, uh, you may, may, find uh, a feathered friend from Ooh. I'm not sure if we can say what scene because then it's going to be yeah, too I, th I think that gives, takes away the fun of buying the Easter egg if you tell yeah. them where. and of okay. course there, you know, there's like fun cultural Easter eggs like you can look at the foods and identify specific foods that are Malaysian or Thai or Vietnamese uh, that I think we all had lots of fun in arm wrestling what foods and things like that we would uh, show on screen I spotted the durian, so that, that was cute. Yeah. I was like, yay, durian! <laughs> so what's the one detail in the film that stood out to you as like extra special? I, uh, I think that like the detail that they put into the food from the movie, like you can- That's what I was about again, to say! Oh, I'm sorry! My grandma used to make uh, rice porridge in Vietnamese, we call it chow. And she made that for me when I, whenever I was sick. So it totally reminded me of that when I saw Boon. I was like, oh my gosh, I can almost taste it. Um, one really cool detail that I noticed is, you know, I know that when you're recording, they have cameras on you. So they capture your performance. And, and as a result, Sisu has 
aspects of, of me, like my like my eyes, my teeth, you know, someone and in another interviewer just said my lips and I was like, oh, I didn't know my lips too. Um, yeah, so I when, when Sisu's in her human form, she really does look like you. <laughs> I know, that's awesome, dude. I don't even know how you can integrate stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of cool details, yeah. The best specific for me is when Raya and Amari are really young and they're about to walk into the area where the dragon gem is kept and they take their shoes off. Yeah. That is very specific. <laughs> yes, very, very Asian thing, like no shoes. <laughs> this world has changed. Our people are divided. Love is a bridge. Raya, my daughter. Trust is a gift. We can be unified again. Give it and it gets better. But someone has to take the first step. My father believes we can make a better world. We need to work together. My girl Raya and I are gonna fix the world. I too wish to join this fellowship of particularly. Let's go. In theaters and on Disney Plus with Premier Access. Note to self, don't die. What is happening? <laughs> it may feel impossible. But sometimes you just have to take the first step. PG in theaters or ordered on Disney Plus with Premier Access March 5th.